Well, welcoming you here today at the Committee of the Regions Plenary Session. And you've just returned from the Conference on Innovation Union, where you were the keynote speaker held in our house. It seems that only one in 10 EU regions spends more than 3% of their gross domestic product on uh, research. And though experience on research on, uh, at the, on, in the member states has increased in the uh, recent years, it appears that disparities at regional and local level are higher. How to make sure that innovation union spreads across Europe equally good? I think that, uh, as you said, so we have a lot of evidence so that we should actually invest much more on national intellectual capital. And that is, that is very crucial. What our uh, conference showed through several of the presentations and this interactive uh, networking lunch, uh, as well as the workshop, was really that we need to kind of make a new, new jump from the traditional innovation or open innovation to the open innovation 2.0 level. And that means really that uh, we need to recognize that innovation is not any more linear, it's much more complex, it's the ecosystem issue. We need to get the people much more involved on that. And then uh, we, we definitely need to move more towards European partnerships. And I think that this is the key for uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the regions which don't yet spend that much on innovation or research and development. So they start collaboration and then start recognizing that there are very many ways how they can get uh, really new ideas, new industry, new jobs. And that's, that's, that's what we are very concretely targeting at the moment. And how do you believe the EU regional policy could address this gap and help the regions? Uh, the key now with the new program period is really that we are using the structural funds much more to, to, towards innovation. And uh, one of the messages coming from the, the uh, Innovation Union Conference was as well so that uh, let's move, uh, instead of just planning and writing the reports, move on to experimenting, demonstrations, kind of rapid prototyping. And that can be done jointly with the uh, regions which are lacking behind uh, and they can operate much more to, together with the regions who are kind of leaders with respect to this uh, innovation capital. It seems that the new member states and the regions from this part of Europe seem to be in the second league of innovation. They don't seem to be involved that much in the current aspect of programming and actions in that field. What would you suggest, how would you advise them to speed up or to join? What would be the solution so they are on board? Uh, one of our strong recommendations through the special COR opinion on closing the innovation divide was that we should use uh, new instruments uh, or the new program period instruments like Interreg. So to uh, kind of uh, uh, these partnerships where each of the region is as well using their own structural funds, but then kind of building the, the solid ground for this kind of development, these experiments. And then we have a combination of regions with different interests and backgrounds, some who are kind of pioneering the chains Pioneers can be the ones who are leading the, uh, the innovation processes at the moment, but as well so uh, regions which are lacking behind. So really a joint collaborative learning, building the critical mass. And the key on that is really this multi-financing. Use different financing instruments for the same persons. Don't do any more just separate uh, uh, project in kind of silo structures can, need to be uh, closed down. So pro breaking the barriers, and that's one of the key for the future. At the conference, you argued that Europe should move away from single public bodies being in charge of promoting innovation. What uh, shall we have in return? That's, yeah, uh, that's kind of a multi-governance issue so that we, uh, when we are moving, all the regions are now moving to the smart specialization strategies. So through our CR survey, 75% of the regions, or actually those who responded, uh, uh, so uh, argued that they have already uh, the smart specialization strategy in place. But I argue back so that they've not yet done the whole process. It's, it's about the whole process where we really go through this multi-governance. Uh, we have a strong uh, stakeholder engagement. We make these priorities. And it's not just one specific 
set of activities, but kind of combination where the, the different regions collaborating are really sharing their best practices and building. Kind of I can show that what I was as well contributing in another workshop just after that. So it's the open innovation in Europe and, and a special toolbox as well. So there are a lot of this kind of concrete uh, instruments that we can really use and, and get this uh, change moving. So the target clearly is to move to this open innovation 2.0 level.